again folks um, hook in the vise well what I'm going to tie for you today is a, a suspender buzzer size 12 so hook in the vise is a size 12 powerless buzzer hook from Blood and Buzzer the thread I'm going to use is Centerfly uh, 50 denier and black so we'll just uh, get our thread started behind the hook Run on a few turns of thread come on then. some away our excess right on the way down the hook at the very tail we're going to have a bit of uh, pearl flash so if we just one strand is all we need so I'll just cut away a strand so that's our strand of flash double this over and tie that on as we're as we're coming down so punch in with the start and our thread on down towards where we want our buzzer to start Our scissors, cut away that excess. Now that that flies at the tail, <clears throat> and don't remove that yet. We'll not remove that until uh, until the fly is finished, and we lift the hook out, and then we can <clears throat> we can trim it to length. Now there's a couple of elements on the fly itself. Now we have black peacock dubbin and the rub on the fly is this is a single strand a rainbow flash now what I want to do with this is if I can get the blue in this where it changes from the gold to the blue turn that off and we want this blue colour here <clears throat> so we'll tie this on to start with Thread back down towards our flash, and then we want our, <coughs> our peacock double. This is just black peacock double, so punch it this. Spin that on our thread. And we'll start on our double up. Towards the head of the fly. Now, that's far enough because we'll have our uh, baby foam to go on. So, <coughs> the next part on the fly is our baby foam. Now this is um, it's a five millimeter black baby cylinder. Um, and what we do with this is the first part is trim this back on an angle, and we want to see where that tipper cut is falling away. Tie that on up to the front 
overhead and tie that in and run that back to where our body will be finished with the, the body of the flea. Now our tonsil when you get the tonsil you want a full turn with the tail and then start bringing that blue core up through our peacock double you want a four maybe five turns coming up as many as you can get on um, there's no hard and fast row and then tie that off in bang there will be fun and then trim away our excess so at the head of our flea um, for our thorax is this is just blue flashed over and we only need a wee nup not very much of this the slightest wee punch and it's just to add colour underneath the foam what we'll do is we'll double back the foam and tie it down so we we'll tie on this this blue um, just to give us that extra colour underneath the foam And all the way keeping it back from the eye of the hook. As I say, we hover our booby foam to double over. So, now the booby foam, you just want to bring that back on itself. I'll punch it up to start with. Get our booby foam lined up. And then start bringing our, our thread over the top all the more pulling that wee bit tighter um, you don't want to pull too tight in this because what will happen is you'll end up nipping through the booby foam as I say every turn you give just give another wee pull and then we finish our fly off pull our foam back come on behind the eye and as I said before, I always will finish by hand. So, underneath the foam and behind the eye of the hook, three or four turn, will finish. And then, then on, turn away our excess. And the fly around in the rows and put on the point of our hook. Now, this flash, you only want the flash. Um, all that does is to make it look like the shock skin off a buzzer, um, the excess skin that's come away from the buzzer. So, you only want this hat and maybe even a third of the length. Of the length of your buzzer, and that's all that is. It just gives that impression of the shock skin coming away from the buzzer. And our booby foam now, with this foam back, that buzzer won't sit straight up and down, it'll sit like that. Your water surface will be here. Your buzzer will be just underneath, and what you'll see is 
Go get a peacock from your body, a blue from your thorax, and then a pear from your from your shock. And as I say, it sits more like that than like that because of the foam bag. Um, now for me, rather than the other one called a top hat where it just comes straight up, I have more success on these than I do on a top hat. So this foam, um, just come on and give yourself a reasonable length. And what you can do then, um, if you look and it's a bit too long, whenever you're fishing, if you can see the foam too high, um, I think we all, the majority of us, carry scissors with. Just come on and trim a wee bit off the top. But that is basically our uh, suspender buzzer. Now, that there, I would fish on a 8 to 10 foot leader, fish at single fly. Um, I would use Floatant or gink, and only gink the very, very top of that there. Don't do, don't plaster it all around here, you know. Because what happens is when you cast it out and that hits the water, any floating that's on it disperses. And if your fly hasn't sunk down far enough, that whole thing's getting clattered and floating. Whereas if you only do the top hat, the very top here, the slightest wee touch, that's all you're looking to, to keep up. As this foam part here, you don't want the rest to float. So, as I say, um, that's a very, very simple suspender buzzer. And one that I've had quite a bit of success with. But you can change that up any way you want. You can change the colour of the dubbin, you can change the colour of the foam. You can change the colour of your thorax, um, but that one there is the most successful colour that I've had. So, there you go folks, uh, I hope that was helpful to you, and um, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video.